Hey, what is up everybody, Blaze for here, and today for you guys another video of Persona 5X. Inside today's video, guys, we're going to be doing a little bit of a testing here with our closer. Now, um, recently, we of course got our A4, I think I said it on the stream yesterday, and then we got Marion A1. And so I was thinking, why not just go ahead and give it a shot and see exactly what we can do. Now, as many of you guys know, I am kind of experimental when it does come down to certain things here so we're going to be going ahead and seeing how actually the meta team fares or at least how much damage can we deal with at least our uh awry here so i think yesterday off stream when i was just chilling i decided to use this team at the top just to see how good it can do and boy oh boy <laughs> it was like it was close it was close but i have to get the run down it was close, but the one thing that stuck out to me was Arai hitting the wildest, and I mean the wildest damage marker. So we're gonna see if we can hit it today and see what all we can do really. Now, of course, with this team, we're able to get a ton of buffs. Everyone is faster than our Arai, including our Leon. So we're able to give her the max amount of buffs immediately to pretty much give her that extra oomph. So we're gonna give it a little bit of a shot and we're gonna see if we can actually get that to uh replicate itself a little bit more often here so of course we got the leon built a little bit so we got him a couple better cards here so we're gonna go ahead and start off by buffing and i think really the buff that i want to look at is when he does his ultimate because um that ultimate when he actually uses it on the rye is kind of a massive buff here so we're gonna see if we can play around a little bit and see what we can do so let's go ahead and get the heal so now we're fully buffed up so right here is where we want to look into the points a little bit because we can't really see the damage markers, but that was 100k on each of them right there. So we can sail by with that. That was already 200k plus not even counting what was on the main boss. So we already can see this buff in general for this team is freaking insane. Yeah, gathering points is easy, quick, and boy, oh boy, does it make her dangerous. So. One of the few things I want to do is instead of actually popping off a rise ultimate, which we very well could do, but we're only going to be able to get the ultimate once anyways, is we're going to pop off Leon's ult because I want to go ahead and see how much damage we can get off of this. So let's go ahead and heal with Rico, at least getting down her own little form a little bit. And then we're going to pop off Leon's ult because this is where we're going to have a little bit of fun as well. And then immediately we're going to use the skill three to give her the maximum amount of buffs that we can get here. And this is what I wanted to really check out. Now, I did this a little bit later into the round and boy, the damage markers were insane, bro. They were insane. So we're going to see if we can get it to happen again here. Um, one of the few things I do want to try is I could heal to get another buff here in which I think that's what we're going to, you know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it because that's going to give us another buff in general. So let's go ahead and do that as well. And then from here, we get to have some fun. So we're already in our form. So we get that extra crit damage and uh, 100K, 100K, 135K, right then and there, 400K in total. If you guys caught a good glimpse of that at the top, right? It was like 400K in general, nearly 500K just to actually do that damage so that was already insane and i'm really really enjoying how like we're able to actually do that pretty darn easy here so look at even her follow-ups are starting to do 100k so these buffs are massive i'm gonna hopefully try to replicate this a few more times to make sure she's able to do this quite often once i figure this out it, it kind of sealed the deal on the team that i want to run and it makes more sense why this team is so like High scoring now um, of course in order to do this you do need a one Marion that does make a huge difference and at least a minimum of a one awry so if anyone wanted to kind of replicate this in the last few days you do need those minimum requirements but lordy or oh lordy it is freaking insane to see the actual uh, what is it called to see the actual uh, things that we can do with it so I'm gonna go ahead and just pop the ult because why the heck not I don't think uh, if we don't pop it here, it would end up being a little bit too stally and that's going to be a problem. So got 214K, not bad, pretty decent for each attack. So that's always nice to get. Then we're going to go ahead and heal again, because at this point, easy damage, 
mink goodbye goes him get another 100k right there and then of course we'll be able to like pretty much just control the rest of the fight now i'm going to heal again get that heal on off <clears throat> and hopefully next turn we'll also have another status up but right here we immediately have that buff of course i'm going to go ahead and start it back up and look at that 100k on everybody right then and there so that was at least 300k to 400k and she is hitting massive damage markers i think i like this team a lot okay i think i like this team a lot and of course the leon people are gonna be like dang we've been telling you this for a minute now and you've been ignoring us okay yeah yeah you win you win i get it okay you win but but i i can't fully can't fully give in you know what i'm saying so um let's go ahead and use this real quick and then we're going to use Marion's heal because we are a little bit iffy on how things are going to go here. So since we don't have really too much of a heal, let's go ahead and pop it. Get that extra buff off from Marion as well. And then let's go ahead and use the basic attack to try and kill. OK, it came close to it, but we at least knocked him, which is all that matters. That is what I was looking forward to was the knock. So we're going to kill with closer because she has the higher damage marker. I would kill the one on the right, but I feel like we should save him for the next uh, turn in general. So we're already at 2.6K, which is already nice. Um, once Arai does her final attack, hopefully this one crits everybody equally. It should be at least three, uh, three mil. And yeah, OK, so look at that. Three mil in total, which is already looking freaking nice. And we still have one whole turn. Now, the thing is, right with this team, I did notice you do have to do a little bit of extra finessing to kind of get the amount of damage that we're looking for, because of course, with Joker, there's more damage markers. Sure, it's a little bit more RNG, because of course, we do know that um, hitting that is kind of a difficult process. But when we actually get it to work, we're able to deal a ton of damage. So I'm still kind of deciding what I really like. I really do like the Leon like in this team as well just for the extra crits but the main thing that it's lacking is since we are lacking a dps -er, um we're kind of missing out on a few things so i don't know i don't really know we we might have to see how it goes really for the most part but let's get another highlight in hopefully this one is a leon buff oh no it's not it's just a regular buff so let's go ahead and quickly do the buff here this is going to be our final round so we got to make sure everything counts to the maximum degree we get the major buff and then this is pretty much just game over here we just got to see hopefully we hit a major uh hit so we have 3.1 so if we can hit a 500k right here that'll help us out a lot let's see mink and she covers it of course she covers it and but we had to hit at least 500k because as you can see right there just racked us up so many points immediately and that is what we're looking forward to now this all in all should get us at least four I want to say 4.1k if we can hit a hard uh down here which will be great let's we'll see uh should be at least 4.1k or at least close to it yeah at least close to it which is really good to be honest um all in all i really do like that team it makes closer hit like gigantic damage markers as you guys can tell um and then it allows me to use cord for this team which i do feel like cord needs to stay in this team uh believe it or not but I feel like she needs to stay here because this team, for no reason, at least for me, because I don't have the weapon, needs to be a little bit buffed up. Maybe if I had Makoto's weapon, I wouldn't need Cord as much, but I still would feel like that she's still the best in slots. But some of you guys may disagree with that. Who knows? But all in all, pretty decent, pretty decent showcase with Closer. Um, I'm just going to probably wrap it up here. And actually, I won't wrap it up here just yet. What I'll do is we're going to do a cut and I'll show you guys the results of what we all got. So see you guys in a second. All right. So to put it in simplest terms, as you guys can see the point value difference, our second team sold beyond compare. But the first team did actually freaking really, really well. We got 4.1. So I might actually end up sticking with this run. We just have to get a good run going on our second phase to hit a little bit higher. But all in all, I'm not going to lie. Freaking closer with that buff is actually crazy. That team is insane. And um, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's definitely gonna be my new favorite. 
um joker's still not getting retired because i'm not like he still does really really good i just feel like until i have him with a proper build that's gonna kind of hold him back a little bit but you guys let me know what you guys think um i'm gonna try out this team a few more times but until next time everybody peace out